seller who went from town to town selling his beautiful hats that he made some say the best around now he had learned this art of designing hats from the time he was a boy and this business of these beautiful hats was Abdullah's finest joy I, I love this business you would hear him say nothing more he wanted to do for him his work was his play and that was his point of view he would place his hats up high on his head and stack them tall. And the children would come out just to see if one would fall. Now, one day on his journey, it was hot and the sun was shining bright. His feet were tired, his body ached, but there was no village in sight. He looked for a place to rest his head and he spied a shady tree. Ah uh, yes, this is the perfect place for me and my hats to be. The bark is wide enough for me to lay my back against. I'm trying to continue now to that town. It just doesn't make any sense. So carefully, he took off his hats and laid them against the tree. Ah. I'll only rest here a little while and I'll be back on the road by three. Abdullah sat down, fell asleep without delay. But little did he know that this tree was where the monkeys played. The monkeys saw Abdullah's hats and ooh, they wanted one too. And if curiosity only hurts cats, they knew what they should do. Quickly they ran down the tree, each one grabbing a hat, and quickly they ran back up without disturbing his nap. Now after his nap, Abdullah woke up, ready to head for the town. He looked to his right, then to his left, but his hats could not be found. Eh! My hats, my hats, where could they be? Abdullah shouted out loud. And then he looked up in the tree and could not believe what he found. Each monkey was looking down at him with a smile on their face. And on the top of each of their heads, a hat they had placed. Abdullah shouted, shaking his fist. You monkeys, give me back my hats. They don't belong to any of you, and I know you all know that. <laughs> but the monkeys only grinned, and shaking their fists, and making monkey sounds. Those little naughty monkeys did not throw one hat down. Abdullah started getting angry. Dancing around, he said, huh, you, you little naughty monkeys. Take my hats off your heads. But the monkeys only danced around, doing what monkeys do best. Dancing and making monkey sounds and scratching on their chests. By now, Abdullah was mad as he could be. He couldn't believe the actions of these monkeys in the tree. Stomping on the ground was all he could do. But then he saw that all the monkeys started stomping too. Okay, he said, I get it now. I remember what they used to say. If you do something around a monkey, 
they will act the very same way. So Abdullah shouted, took off his hat and tossed it to the ground. The monkeys did the very same thing. And all the hats came tumbling down. Abdullah grabbed the hats as fast as he could and put them in a sack. He knew if the monkeys got them again, he may never ever get them back. Finally, Abdullah could start to be on his way. He wanted to be able to get to the town before the end of day. He smiled at the monkeys before he turned. Because, you know what? There was a lesson that he had learned. Monkey see, a monkey do. Monkeys like to copy you. Monkey see, a monkey do. Monkeys like to copy you. So children, please remember on this journey of life, when someone tries to copy you, there's no need for strife. They mean it as a compliment. So take Abdullah's cue. All you do is smile at them and they will copy you.